on. It was wifey. <laughs> Just uh, getting ready to kind of fill you in on what we've been up to the last few days. Um, what what we film? We got emails. Yes. Um, let I'm Chris, by the way. I'm wifey Amanda. Amanda. And we're documenting our fertility journey. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> we have been. It's been fun. So, if you guys watched the last video, you knew that our last cycle was cancelled. Um, because I didn't respond to Letrozol. And then I had, because we had two failed cycles, I had to have an appointment with the doctor. And that was scary. So... Originally, they were suggesting injections, but when I spoke to the doctor, he's put me on a totally different plan. Um, he was super, like, sympathetic and informative, and I thought for sure that he was going to, you know, make my weight an issue because, let's be real, most doctors do. Um, he didn't mention any of that. Right. Um, there's another medication that's pretty well known um, called Clomid, and... In Canada, it's actually not even manufactured anymore, so I thought that they didn't use it anymore. Um, turns out the pharmacy that the fertility clinic deals with is actually going to compound the tablets. Um, so I will be starting Clomid, 100 milligrams, um, same like scenario as Letrozole, like I take it for five days, um, yeah. but no injection yet. He wants to try both oral medications before putting me to injections. Obviously injections are a lot more expensive and there's risk of um, producing too many eggs. And if you do that, then you're gonna have to have surgery to have them all extracted. Um, so that's really dangerous. So we're gonna try the Clomid for a couple cycles, see how that goes, and then we'll be doing the injections. Nice. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> so, see, I couldn't, I couldn't even begin to try and remember all that stuff. I was actually like really excited to film this video because a couple of videos back it was kind of like a really sad one and I feel like our outlook has completely changed Yeah. since then. Um, yeah. Again, I wasn't expecting the, like the doctor to be super sympathetic and you know I thought for sure he was gonna just be like no you know lose yeah. some weight come back to me in a year whatever that, you've that's, done that. that's what it's always been about is yeah so are we like i mean for sure tell me something i don't know like honestly look at me you know like you don't need to remind me that like and, and we're, we're working on that too now like and i mean what's frustrating too is like yes i know weight can be an issue but what the doctor like i don't have any other health conditions like i'm healthy other yeah. than i'm overweight and the doctors are always like, you need to lose weight. But you talk to the majority of women with PCOS, and it is the most difficult thing to do. Um, I think I just found the secret. Yeah, this, um, she's been on this but, the week. She's been on this thing. Yeah. So, I ended up, um, I was drinking decaf coffee after I stopped drinking regular coffee because I'm, I felt left out. Everybody was having their morning coffee, and there I was drinking water. <laughs> Um, but I've completely stopped that as well. Am I boring you or? Not at all. <laughs> My goodness. Dude doesn't so. yawn. He gets his head taken off, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so, babe. Anyways, <laughs> I've completely given up coffee. Um, any source of caffeine. Um, no pop. I've basically just been drinking water. I was reading this post about how you're supposed to drink half of your body weight in ounces um of water which is really hard actually um it's really boring yeah water. but i got like some flavored water and stuff so i can like switch it up yeah um and then i've also cut out all dairy all carbs um the only carbs i'm having is obviously like natural carbs from vegetables and whatever but even some of them it says not to have them um what else do i give up Lots of stuff. <laughs> My life, no. <laughs> Just Candy kidding. and chocolate. And yeah, all all the good things. But I'm actually like I've done other diets in the past, and I do it for a day or two, and then I just give up. But I'm super yeah. motivated, and I'm actually enjoying it. I'm 
I'm not as moody. Um, I'm not tired. Like, before I was having naps during the day. Like, I don't feel like I need to have a nap anymore. I have so much energy. Um, so overall, like, I feel a lot better doing this. And it's been six days fully compliant, like 100% compliant, and I've lost three and a half pounds. So to sure, even, I know it's really. not, it's not a lot, but it's a small victory because I tried so many other things. I tried walking for miles, or kilometers. Yeah, miles. <laughs> kilometers. And, we were and I was media. gaining, I was gaining weight. Like, it was insane. And yeah. they would be like, oh, it's because you're gaining muscle and whatever, but consistently every week I would still gain. And it was terrible. But this, I'm super excited about. Yeah? Yeah. Tell them about your meal plan. So, my biggest thing is I don't cook. I hate cooking. It's She oh, don't cook. Please. I hate it with passion. So, also, like, when I get home from work, I'm also in school, like, in the evening. So, even if I was to cook, it's too hard to have enough time by the time I get home to make a meal. So, um... One of our friends introduced us to this company that's in London, um, and it's called Live Fit. And your box. this is the box that it came in. It is like fully insulated. Like you could leave this out in like forty degree heat, and by the time you got home, I'm pretty sure it would all it, still be cold. It even came with two two ice packs. Like, yeah, and there, like I don't I was know pretty impressed. if you guys will be able to see this, but on the box they wrote. Amanda, enjoy your meals from Live Fit. Also, the day after I received my box, um, the owner of the company emailed me and said thank you for your purchase. And I thought that was really cool of them. Um, the food was so good. Um, I ate it all or I would show you. Uh, yeah, I see it. No. <laughs> um, There's only one thing you didn't like, the the one soup. When yeah, it was like stuffed pepper soup, but it was, I don't know, it was, it was weird spices. Um, but... But everything else was really Super good. Super helpful. I'll zap them and then she's like, good, I don't have to worry about. Yeah. And there's so many different options. And yeah. they, um, everything came fresh. Like, it wasn't frozen. So, it took me about a, a week to finish all the meals. And even at the, the week mark, the meal that I didn't even freeze, we just left it in the fridge, was still good. Yeah. Um, and you could tell. It was all fresh ingredients. Um, I'm definitely going to order from them again, but... They made it so much easier for me because it was just grab and go. Yeah. So if that's something that you struggle with too, um, they have like, I guess like the keto options, which I'm not keto, but it's kind of like the same guidelines. Like they're very low carb, high protein yeah. sort of thing. Good stuff. Um, yeah. So. Go back. It's, stuff. Only good stuff. Yeah. It's a whole bunch of different options. Their taco soup. Amazing. Out of bounds, eh? Yeah, it was, it was really good. So, yeah, so that's what we've been doing. Um, we're just waiting on our day 35, yeah. which is... Let's check. Well, also, while I'm doing that, um, I can't even get into my thing. Hey, don't miss your password three <laughs> times. You need to be locked out. I also got this app called Carb Manager. Oh, yeah. Um, check it out because... They will list on there, like, if it's a friendly food or if you should avoid that food or if you should have it, like, in moderation. I ended up searching a Kit Kat. Oh, Kit Kat. <laughs> and it says you can have it in moderation. So I treated myself to a Kit Kat. It was glorious. Um, but. Day 35 is the 19th of this month. So six days, seven days. Seven days. If seven I don't days. get my my cycle on my own, which I'm starting to get signed, so I'm not entirely sure if it's going to come on its own. If it does, that's a friggin' miracle. Uh, that'd be good. Yeah. So, yeah. we'll see. Um, but if not, we have to wait until day 35, and then I email them. And you'll be there bright and early with us. <laughs> yeah. So early. Oh, man. Stupid early. That's okay. It's worth it. Oh, yeah. It's totally worth it. It's We're gonna... For sure. Um, the nurses at this clinic are, are amazing, too. Like. Yeah. In the emails, you know, it's like, I'm sorry, we didn't have better news for you. Um, when you go to your appointments, they're like, we're going to figure this out. We just need to figure out, like, your medication. Um, so, yeah, we're we're super excited. I feel like our whole mindset 
is yeah. like a lot more positive. Hundred percent. Um. So yeah, we'll 100%. see. We'll see what happens. Let's go. Very <laughs> high. So yeah, <clears throat> that's what we've been up to. Yeah. And we got lots more coming your way. Just lots more. Just sit tight. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. If you want to follow us, hit that subscribe button. Mm -hmm. You will not be sorry. Any questions that you guys have, like, about fertility or whatever, if you just want to talk because, you know, you have an appointment in a few days and you're super nervous, let us know. I was, yeah. I was there. And I still get super nervous, but, yeah, I was there. So, we can help with that. There's the health for bunch over there. We are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, peeps. Catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.